I start my day like every day. So first, I have a warm lemon water with a like a capful-ish of apple cider vinegar. Then I have just a black coffee with either a non-dairy creamer or like a little bit of almond milk. Sometimes I just have a black, but recently I've been liking a little, a little like vibe, so yeah. Good morning y'all. So just having my coffee, it's been a little bit later. There's maybe just a little bit left. I know that um, intermittent fasting, is that how you say it? I feel like that's been a big trend. And although I don't really do that, I do definitely wait until I'm hungry to eat so i really try to start out my day again with lemon water just a lot of water in general um coffee and for me in the morning is i've said this like in so many videos so if you already know excuse me but just a fun fact about me um i definitely am a morning person in the sense that i feel like i have the most just natural energy i mean obviously i like have coffee and stuff but i have the most like motivation to be productive and get stuff done so i'll be drinking my beverages you know editing a video or just doing all like the main things on my computer that i need to basically until i'm hungry so like right now it's eight o'clock but sometimes it could be like 11 10 11 until like i'm done or until like i'm actually hungry so i just kind of like listen to my body in that sense i just find that that works the best for me so it's not really you know the fasting thing because it's not like oh, I cut off, you know, I'm not allowed to eat after this time. It's just like, if I'm hungry, I eat. If I'm not, then I don't. I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich today, but it's kind of gonna be like mediocre. I really wish I had vegan cheese. Forgot to get that. And I wish I had like a vegan, I don't know. A lot of the vegan like fake meats kind of don't digest well for me. I feel like they hurt my stomach. They make my stomach like cramp up. So I guess JK, and it's not like I would eat an IRL breakfast meat because you. Okay. But basically, it's just going to be a lot of veggies. So I'm going to scramble two eggs, two pieces of this. It's basically like a glorified avocado toast. I have two avocados, but they are not really ripe yet. Not as ripe as I would like them to be. So I'm going to use some guacamole. I'm going to cook a couple of these. And Loki, I'm just going to make the rest of this on the side and eat it just because it needs to be eaten. Gotta work with what you got. I'm so glad that grocery stores, let me know if it's the same for where you live and where you live also, but I'm so glad that it just seems to be a little, actually a lot more calm and like they're putting limits on how many things people can buy. I just remember that first weekend when everyone was at all the stores, there was no limits. Like everyone was crowded together in line. That was insane and not really like, that was a lot of anxiety. It's like, yeah, they're saying that it's not, like, oh, there's not a shortage, but then you see everyone, like, panic buying, and you're like, okay, well, there's not gonna be enough for me. I need to get what I can get. She's not beautiful, but she's loyal. I also added green onions. My nail. This is, like, really random, but it's, like, whatever, you know? So I just did some resistance band upper body work, and then I did, like, a 20 minute yoga flow i realize i've been eating like smaller more frequent meals recently so if this looks like a small meal it's because it is but i just heated up this beans and rice from yesterday it's like a three bean bean blend and then the rice is seasoned that's how i cooked it it's really bomb and then we just have a salad that i cut up again yesterday and then just added some dressing with cucumber so super simple chill there's also a little bit of hummus on this rice um, but again, the rice is already seasoned. She's easy. It's simple. So I'm about to make a whipped coffee, which you have probably already seen this by now. You've seen how I do it. But I wanted to talk about a product that I've been using and kind of been talking about recently. And it is this collagen protein powder. So basically, this is an unflavored protein powder that you can put in smoothies and your coffee. It has 10 grams of protein per scoop just so good for your hair your nails and your skin it's just going to promote elasticity it's going to help it grow better it's just going to make your nail your hair everything just like your nail it's just going to make everything stronger so i would definitely recommend this it's just a really good value it's like a, about a month's supply and then they also have their power frother which you guys know i have been using this to make my whipped coffees and it's also great at mixing this in. You guys should definitely get one of these. It's so, it just makes making everything so much easier so you don't have to whisk it yourself. 
matcha, again, the whipped coffees. You wanna make a latte, a cappuccino, anything that's foamy. This is just like the best bet ever. Battery operated, it's just like super easy. So I will link both of these products down below, but yeah, basically I'm gonna be adding this to my whipped coffee today. Gluten-free, dairy-free, lab-tested, keto-friendly. I really like this because it doesn't, it's unflavored, but it also doesn't have like any taste. Like I can add this to my coffee. It does not change the taste of my coffee at all. It doesn't change the texture. Like it really just kind of like disintegrates into it and you don't even really notice that it's there. So I just feel like it's a little hack to make my coffee. Like I drink so much coffee, you know? So it's just a little hack to make it a little bit healthier and make me feel like I'm actually like gaining something. So I'm gonna show you how I incorporate this. I take these little instant coffee packs and these have mushroom extract in them. So that also is like some health benefits. Then you can do sugar, but I've been using monk fruit sweetener. It's just a healthy alternative and it literally is like exactly like sugar. So I low-key don't even need like that much. So I'm gonna do like one and a half. And I just boiled some water. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. So now we're just gonna use this. As you can see, it literally takes like no time with the little mixer. So I just wanna get that, you know, the right consistency, the right color. Okay. Look at that. So I added some ice to this and now I'm just adding some almond milk. I'm gonna do like that much. My apartment has these little creamers and it's just adds some extra sweetness and like flavor. Like it adds the vanilla flavor, but it's not like I want all of this to be cream. <laughs> now we're gonna take our collagen and I'm just gonna add a scoop. It's just like this white powder. It's definitely not as thick as like a protein powder. And I'm going to show you guys how easy this mixes in. And now we're just going to. Beautiful. Now everybody's favorite part Take this. I swear I get better at this every time I make it. Beautiful. It's like you can barely see because the milk is foamy. Look at that. Look at how thick it is. Beautiful. So let's mix it. That's like beautiful. It's so good. It's like the perfect amount of sweet. It's not overbearing. Like you guys know me. I don't really like super sweet stuff. But it's just the perfect, no, it's really just like perfect when I don't want like a plain, just regular coffee. So this way that I do it with the collagen and with the mushroom coffee and everything, I just feel like it just really wants to sit like that. Okay, whatever. There's just added, you know, health benefits and I don't feel like I'm just drinking a bunch of caffeine and sugar, which that's fine to do on occasion. But I feel like if you're going to be doing something regularly, might as well add a little health. I've said this before, but I really like doing things with a purpose. So whether that's enjoying a uh, really creamy, sweet coffee, or, you know, sleeping in, staying up late, or the opposite of that, whatever. I just always like to have a purpose for doing something, and, you know, this gives me my collagen, my little boost, my beauty boost. It doesn't give me any jitters, like, it's just, it's great. So once again, I will link this as well as the frother. You guys need to get this if you want to make, um whipped coffees like it makes the process so much easier and again then you can make lattes cappuccinos anything with foam matcha like it just makes everything so much easier but yeah thank you so much to omega for sponsoring me and creating this amazing product that i really have been using every day you guys have seen me like use it in these vlogs i'll link them down below now i'm gonna enjoy that i am just doing my makeup right now because i have to take up ig for a brand i saw this tweet once and i literally always think of it and i just okay let me know if you can relate I don't know what it is, like why this, like why someone would say this, but like I've, I've literally never heard a Leo being described as this, but somebody tweeted like one of the things I hate about being a Leo is I feel like I'm kind of good at a lot of things, but there's not one really good, like one thing that I'm really good at. And I fucking feel, this was like literally months ago and I still think about it all the time. I was like, oh my God, that's literally me. Like I can kind of do makeup, I can kind of, take pics i can kind of cook i can kind of dress but i'm not like really good at one thing if you've ever heard that let me know if you're a leo let me know if you can relate that doesn't do my makeup i'm just like really thinking about it but yeah i'm literally doing a full makeup like put on foundation that's crazy so all the way ready i was just taking ig's some for 
a brand and some just to have. Okay, we have this much cereal left. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna take a, I think this is a serving size of this is two scoops, but however many scoops you want of protein powder in a bowl. One, two. Oh my God, I love her. What an icon, honestly. Pour water in there. You can use milk, but it's just like, why? Yeah. Make it like a thick consistency. But sometimes I find that it's like hard to eat the cereal if it's like so thick, like it's just not enjoyable. A vibe, you know? We're just gonna add the cereal on top. I also have granola, but I just wanna finish this. Then I'm gonna take a banana, slice that on top, and then I have these pre-sliced strawberries that I prepared. So here we have a little protein bowl. I just like this a lot more than eating a smoothie because I feel like I actually chew this and therefore it digests better versus a smoothie. I feel like most of the time, especially if I'm actually hungry, I just drink it really fast and then my stomach just feels really full, but I don't feel like satiated. So this way I'm actually like chewing my food and yeah, you can chew your smoothies, but it's just kind of like a little more hard to control yourself because you could just drink it. Get protein and fluids. And again, if you have granola, that would be even more nutrient dense, but whatever. But the protein, it's like thick. So it's kind of like a smoothie bowl in that sense, but it's just a lot easier. And if you don't have all the ingredients for a proper smoothie, it's perfect. I've literally just been taking photos and doing that kind of stuff. Imagine if I look like this, I mean, 2016, my hair. <laughs> With that being said, I will probably cut it after quarantine because I kind of wanted to do that. Not super short, but I just feel like freshen up, you know, whatever. Anyway, it's that time of day where I kind of just want like a beverage. Sometimes I will go for another coffee. I mean, I did already have two, so at this point I probably wouldn't. It's either like I have already had two. I try to limit myself to two because otherwise it's like, I just, you know when you have so much caffeine, it makes you like tired. Like I hate that. I really try to avoid that. That's when I know I've had too much. So I tried to cut myself off before I reached that point. So I'm just having some caffeine free tea. This is actually my last candy cane tea from Trader Joe's. Let me know if you guys have tried that. It's basically like a peppermint kind of tea but like different it's not like all natural it's like kind of a bullshit tea no offense i know people love it this one is not bad but yeah i really like herbal teas because i like to feel like it's again purpose you know i like to feel like it's doing something for me but we're just having this and then it's supposed to rain it's said it's supposed to rain all day and they keep like moving it up an hour on the weather app i kind of want to go for a walk but at the same time it's like it's like stay in the house also it's about to rain i feel like you guys like more are you more of a tea or coffee person let me know i would say i'm both but it just you know at different times of day like i do generally speaking prefer coffee in the morning but then i love tea later on in the day and before bed and whatnot so now i'm having some leftover hawaiian barbecue Boom. I'm gonna eat this and probably be hungry again, but I don't know. So I didn't film it, but I wanted more veggies. So I just had some sauteed kale and broccoli with garlic and like some green onions in this bowl. Now I'm gonna have two of these little peanut butter cookies. I think I showed them in another vlog. They're not like my favorite, but they're vegan. And it's just like, you know, if I want a little, sweet treat and i just want to like eat them before they go stale you know there's like i mean there's like a few left i have this jar of all of them and i'll probably make some more tea but yeah that's probably all i will eat it's like seven o'clock literally seven oh one right now and i'll probably go to bed within the next like hour or two <laughs> so i don't like to be too full before bed i just like to feel like good like i don't like to wait like if I was going to bed at like midnight right now and it's already, I mean, it's only seven, I would for sure get hungry again and that would just not be a good plan. But this will like satisfy me and again, not leave me super stuffed before bed, but not starving. I'm gonna watch some Netflix or YouTube. You know the vibes. Have my tea, take a bath. Honestly, I was gonna say take a shower, but probably take a bath. It's been raining this whole afternoon. I took a nap for like an hour just because it was raining. Like I literally was just gonna like rest for like, 20 minutes and I ended up sleeping. So it's actually super nice and relaxing. So let me know if you guys want more videos like this. I'll probably just end the video right here and I'll talk to you tomorrow.